Oh, right. <laughs> so the gig is up. For... Honey. <laughs> The gig is up. We're recording. Yeah, yes. So right. what, what's the gig up about? The eight gig I just put in the computer. That's what I'm one of the gigs up. We're finally it arrived. Yeah. The two by four. Yeah, eight gig good. extra. Okay. Now, who, who's going to fess up? You or me? <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, this is just for you. For those of you... <laughs> who may still be thinking that it was Yahweh actually singing himself <laughs> with a full orchestra in the background. <laughs> it wasn't, it was John Gary. However, I, I forgot the dude's name at the time, that's why I hesitated. It sounded like, but it was so, it was so convincing, wasn't it? It sounded like, it, it was, the whole thing was, I, I astonished myself. <laughs> It wasn't Yahweh. Like when you heard the singing, yes. Did you know it was John Gary? You thought it was me, didn't you? <laughs> I knew it wasn't you, because you were sitting there and your lips weren't moving. <laughs> yeah, just think around. That's the miracle part. Oh, I'm a ventriloquist. You know. It's got me short. I can talk in it. I can talk in it. Yeah, right. Okay. No, 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 no. It was all a, all, all a bit of harmless fun. <laughs> on your Jesus birthday. Was it your Jesus? Just two days ago. Oh, time is flying when you're having fun. Yeah, so his Jesus birthday joke from the jokester turns out I can, I, 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 I can go along with jokes too. <laughs> now, yeah, it was John Gary singing. However, it was, as you know, it was Yahweh imitating Willie Nelson and then Elvis. But it forced him because Andrew was the one who got it. Ah, ha, ha, he says, he, 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 he. <laughs> like the orchestra in the background. Sherry, darling, Yahweh has an awesome voice anyway, <laughs> as you know, because he was forced then to sing an acapella. entire song, acapella go, <laughs> whatever that word is, means singing without any instrumental backing. Right. Do you know what that word is? <laughs> no, 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 there's an Italian. It's like Allegro and Aletto and all, all the rest of it. But, uh, you know, Allegro solo. means. No, no, no. Solo Acapello. means just alone. A, a cappello? Oh, well, somebody up there will. Paxton, you yeah. may know. <laughs> Sherry yeah. should know. She's a singer. <laughs> anyway, as you got to hear, the, 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 the bigger treat, of course, was Yahweh actually singing. Well, I was forced. I didn't realise. I was caught. You were caught? Yeah, yeah right. No, no, I didn't set that up. You know, I wouldn't. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it was, it was one of those things I didn't foresee. <laughs> like the DT. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, any time a practical joke has been played out in this household, it's called a DT, you know, for a Donald Trump. <laughs> so the gig is up on the big DT, which was... <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh! No, you did. believed it for a second. I believed it for a, a split second, and then I... That's what I say to everybody. Just believe me for a second, and you'll find paradise. There we go. I did. I found paradise in my mind because I thought, okay, the whole world can now eat. The whole world's eating. That's, that, that's immediately where I went. Like Adam's starving in Amsterdam. You know, I'm thinking about, well, he's just representative of half the planet, at least. Starving. Actually, it would be the 99% because... Even though the rest of the world may be eating, what are they eating? But they're being fed poison by the elites. So apart from Iran, who is eating well because all of their people are slim and they have no body fat naturally because their food hasn't been adulterated by their government, the rest of the world <laughs> is starving, whether they are eating or not. Not much longer, my dear. Not much longer, that's Every right. Every second is a second closer. Yes, that's what you always say. Every second is a second closer and we get to take over. So, no McDonald's for the world. So everybody plant a tree, plant a vegetable, plant a fruit, plant something. The guy, remember we read about the guy at Bangalore? And I, I did, I brought, it's around here somewhere, the newspaper from Bangalore on our last trip. And he took it upon himself, picking up the thought of God, obviously, 30 hectares where he was planting a community garden so that 
anybody can come and eat for free. That's it. That's it. And and what has Yahweh said before, over and over? The streets. There is no reason why fruits and vegetables should not be lining the streets of the cities. Plants love carbon dioxide, as you know. That's why they want to reduce it because plants produce oxygen for us. So who are they trying to kill? Up by reducing and then yeah, taxing yeah. you. Yeah, and then going. Yeah. 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 Taxing you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to find this article reading about the guy who. CO2 feeds. Feeds plants, that's right, and plants feed up. That's the whole point. It's not about reducing carbon dioxide, it's about reducing oxygen to, to kill human beings. Uh, Bangalore, into, oh, I can't find it. Why? Why is it you can never find anything when you really want it? But yeah, this dude down in Bangalore, on the Byron Bay area, 30 hectares, and he's growing community, community food. It's saying what you've said all along. There's no reason for people to be going hungry at all in any nation. Everybody grow fruits and vegetables and share it. Food should not be, shouldn't have to pay for food. You don't pay for food in paradise, nor do you pay for water, nor do you pay for electricity or telecommunications or anything like that, or even housing. You know, the Green Book. No wonder they got rid of Gaddafi. He had it absolutely right. Those people in Libya were living a kingdom existence as people living in paradise. And that's why they got rid of him. I still can't find this article. It just disappeared. As I always do. Anyway, you get my drift. <sighs> get my drift. The Byron Shire. So, that's what it's all about. That's where we got to on this level. We, we went from Claudia the Thief, Paradise, Fiji, over to this ripping little yarn. Oh, and the fessing up, of course, that was John Gary actually singing the first day, but put Yahweh in a compromising position where he had to sing <laughs> one whole song all the way through. And I think he sounds better than John Gary anyway. Now, what did you say about John Gary? He was voted the best... The singer in America. The best singer in America. Mm. When? When was that? Oh, I would have said probably in the late 60s. In the late 60s. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're the best singer in all the world. <laughs> I'm sure there are those of you out there, the few. <laughs> it's only the few you came for, isn't it, babe? The few and the children. Well, I suppose uh, if you're drowning in a well, mm. any voice you hear that pulls you out of that hell. Yes. Sure, right? right. So maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm in need of a toasted beetroot sandwich. <laughs> All right, that's a that's a take, isn't it? That's a